Hello, my lovelies! Welcome to Torn Talk! Christmas Sephora Haul Edition! Oh, let me pose really dramatic for the thumbnail. I don't know how to make model faces. Any hoodles! Uh, <laughs> I finally spent my Sephora money um, from Christmas! Uh, cause I talked to my mom and I was like, mom, I haven't even, I haven't even went to Sephora. Uh, of course, since we are in the middle of a pandemic, I did not go to Sephora. Um, I actually, it was on the JCPenney website because the gift cards aren't good for online. It's only Sephora through JCPenney. So I had to go to JCPenney and then to Sephora on there. Anyways, I ordered four things. I only received three things. <laughs> because they were apparently out of stock of one and they just canceled that part of my order which I was a little agitated about like the nice thing about shopping online these days is you can sign up for texts for when things ship um, which is great because then I'm like oh package is coming today I'll actually look on the porch because sometimes they don't but uh yeah I was just like uh, your cancel request has been accepted. This part of your order has been canceled. And I'm like, whoa, 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 I didn't request any cancellation. I want it, I want it. Uh, but it wasn't me that canceled it. It was the fulfillment space that they were out. Uh, so they just go, went ahead and refunded my money. And what was nice is since I had paid taxes with, um, I had like a few bucks and taxes left that I put on my debit card. I'm like, yeah, but I mostly paid for this with the gift card. So how is that gonna work? Because having worked in retail, usually that means they just give you another gift card for that amount, which is such a pain in the butt. No, 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 they just put it all back in my bank. So that was cool. Um, and I, hopefully they will restock. I'll show you what I didn't get first that I was really excited about. Um, Hold on just a sec. I saved it. I screenshotted it. Okay, so uh, it was the Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. Now she has light, medium, and rich. And I wanted the medium, not the light. Ooh, can you even see? I know, it's so... Here. Anyways, it's that one. I have a nude eye palette, but I have hit pan on almost everything. So, um, yeah, I just, it was beautiful and I wanted it. So I ordered it. Did not get it. They were out. Um, that's okay. I will, I don't know. That just means I still have 30 bucks to spend on something else. But I did get the other three things I ordered. So we're going to go over them today. As you can probably tell from my uber dramatic makeup, I played with them. Um, and before anybody says, Torn, you're wearing black. I thought we were done with black. Guys, I had to wear black. Do you see these eyes? It's this dramatic, it has to be black. If I'd have had like something dark forest green, I'd have worn that, but I don't. So anyways, uh, so what did I get? Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I finally got a cream contour. So you guys know I have been following Robert Welsh um, and uh, I still follow Wayne Goss. Um, I do, I still watch Nikki tutorials, but I find that anything she does on her skin doesn't work for my skin because she is very, very young and I am not. <laughs> so she can put certain things on her face that I can't put on my face because I have a lot more texture than she has and my skin is way more dry than hers is. Um, but, uh... I've listened to Robert talk about the theory of all the makeup and stuff, and he was talking about cream contour for those of us that have dry skin, because thus far I've been using a powdered contour. Is it even in here? And it was just a bronzer. Yeah, here it is. Um, this is what I've been using. I, it's pop, I don't know. Um, but you see, <laughs> I've hit pan. Um, but yeah, um, that, that's what I've been using. Usually for my contour is the powder, but powder it doesn't sit on my face as lovely as it once did. I tried to use a lot less powder on my face, you know, except for my eyelids. 
um, and my highlighter. Although if I can find a cream highlighter that's as good as this stuff, I might look into it. So I wanted a contour. Um, also your contour should be slightly gray because it's shadowed. It's really, really hard for me to find a slightly gray contour pale enough for me. Um, but I decided to give Huda a try. It's the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. Uh, cream bronzer was actually really hard for me to find, but this isn't fair. Um, yay. So I have to say Huda's packaging is real nice. It's real nice. Um, but yeah, tan and tone. So this is the color right um it is probably a little bit more golden than i'd like but it's not as like warm 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 as so many of the bronzers and contours are all like orange and this one is not orange um or it's not very orange i should say but it's super soft Let me pull my sleeve up so you can see what it looks like at full strength which is super woo but it does have that little bit of a blue undertone and I used it today. Can you tell? I did a full beat contour today, which I don't always do. Um, I actually don't do often anymore, but I do usually contour a bit for this channel because these lights are bright and I want you to be able to see my face. Um, I also just want to play with makeup. Let's not lie. Let's not act like I'm professional. I love playing with makeup and making myself look different. Look how thin I look. Look how good my jawline looks. I still have that little, but I've got so much bronzer. I tried to carve out the jawline a little more. Yes. Um, any hoodles? Oh darn. I meant to have my wake up wipes because we are going to do swatches. So snippety snippety back in a jiffity. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, we're back. Next thing I got, uh, was, uh, from Fenty, uh, from Riri. Uh, I got, it was a bundle, which I'm all about a bundle, um, but it was the Fenty Beauty a Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Bomb Collection. I've seen so many people just rave about the gloss bomb. Uh, mm-hmm. The gloss. Gloss. It's right there. <sighs> Putting brain. So it does come in a tin, which is nine, because I can reuse this tin when I use up all my gloss. Um, as it were, here are our glasses. Very pretty. They are sheer for the most part. Uh, I have tried them all on, on plain lips. Uh, but we're going to do swatchy swatchies because I like to pretend I'm a booty guru sometimes. Uh, so first up, we have a really hot pink called Pretty Please. So the one nice thing is I am so pale. Things should show up pretty nicely. So pretty please. It does tint, tint a little further back. Is that better? Maybe I should turn the lights down a little bit. Does it seem too bright? Maybe too bright. Oh, now we got skin texture. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. You can see it much better though. All right. Ignore that. And after this, I am totally going to blow myself back out so that I look flawless. Can't help it, you guys. All right, uh, next up is more of a nude shade called Fussy, um, which is one of my favorites. I think this might be my favorite shade in here. Um, it is a nude, but it looks really pretty on the lips, like so. Can you see? There you go. Well, you see it's super glossy. But there's the color. Um, then there is an iridescent, which I will admit I was a little, like, I wanted four of the five of these, but, you know, you might as well get the whole package. This one is iridescent. It's called Confetti. And it's one of those purple-blue shifty iridescents. Um, glosses. So it goes on real clear. But, I don't know if you can see the color shift. Maybe, maybe not. A lot of the times... I can't see anything and then when I go to edit and it's nice and big instead of on a screen this big I can see better but uh, it has got a little bit of a purple thing so I would definitely want to put it over uh, like a like a hot pink or a fuchsia then I think you'd be okay um, here is a brown called hot 
chocolate, L-I-T, lit. Um, and it's a, a brown with uh, pink and gold uh, glitters. All of these have glitters, BT dubs, in them. See that one? That one's really pretty. Joe liked that one. I think that's his favorite. And uh, what is my second favorite? Or maybe my favorite, it depends. Um, I guess is Cheeky. And it is red with like orange and gold flakes in it. Which you wouldn't think would be my jam. And yet, it actually ends up being more of like a, a ripe strawberry color with glitters. So there are all of the colors of the gloss bomb, the glossy posse. Uh, and they're minis, which I like because I feel like it won't be quite as wasteful. I don't wear lip gloss a ton, uh, but when I want lip gloss, I want gloss. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, this way they're smaller, which I like. You get a bigger variety. So I'm happy with that purchase. Oh, and today I am wearing Fussy. I'm wearing Fussy over this. And this underneath is allegedly by Jeffree Star. Okay, and then finally, the elephant in the room, my eyeballs. Um, can you tell that they're green? I don't know. It was a very grunge palette, and I wanted it, and I would never, ever, ever have bought it for myself. I do need to wipe off my gloss. Gloss. Um because it is so expensive. This palette is $58, which is a lot of money. Now, you might be saying, Torin Jeffrey's palettes are like 50 bucks. Yeah, but you get a lot of colors. This one, you don't. Um, I've also never tried this brand. This is the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is my very first ever Melt product that I've bought for myself because Melt is pricey -o. But I saw this palette, and first of all, it's Gemini, and I am a Gemini. And then, when I saw the colors, now please ignore the actual Gemini shade, which I completely put my finger through. <sighs> so frustrating. I knew I should have showed it to you before I did my eyes. Anyways, when I looked at the colors, they are so 90s grunge. I just really, really wanted it, but I would never have paid the money for this for myself. But my mother bought it for me, so it's totally okay. Um, so yeah, so my eyes today are actually, I used uh, Lorelei as like a base, and then I just stayed all the way over here in this green section. And that is what is on my eyes. Yeah, I think they turned out nice. Um, I don't do super dramatic eyes all the time, but let's look at the colors, shall we? All right, first we have Luna, which is, now these are pretty soft shadows, you guys. There's Luna. These shadows are really soft. Um, and then Gemini, which is super, super soft and actually kind of flaky. Not gonna lie, it is a glitter. Um, that is a terrible swatch. Let me try again. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not used to swatching? There we go. That's better. Okay. Then we have Lorelei, which ends up being pretty decent. Uh, this Lorelei really blends really pretty, and it's not as powdery as some of the others. Uh, let me wipe my fingers off real quick so we don't get cross-contamination. All right, so then we have Polka Dot, which is a shade darker than that. Polka Dot, right? Cupcake, which is a shade darker than that. Oh, Cupcake's a little bit patchy. I didn't use this one today, but it builds really pretty, so that's fine. Okay, and then we have Bonnie, which is a black. Let's see how good of a black it is, because thus far, Tati's black is the best black. This is pretty good. How does it blend? It'll blend to gray. I should do it like this. It'll blend to gray a little bit. Uh, yeah, Tati's 
from the textured neutrals is the best black I've ever used, just FYI. Um, and I've tried a lot of black shadows over the years because I do have slight cloth tendencies. All right, and then we are into the greens, which is the biggest reason I bought this palette. Uh, so we have Leo, which is totally like an army green. Um, it is slightly patchy, I'm not gonna lie, slightly. It's not real soft, this one's kind of hard. Um, goals with a Z. This one's one of the glitter shades and it is not as emollient as I would have expected. It was a little hard. I definitely have to use your fingers with it. Like it wouldn't even get on the brush. Um, Fire OG, which is more of a khaki army green. And then finally, Mochi, which is kind of like a mustardy green. Now Mochi blended really pretty. So we're all the way up my arm. There we go. There's your whole palette. Yay. Um, so how do I feel about these shadows? Well, you can get a seriously dramatic look. Um, I did have to work, I had to work a bit blending some of them. Uh, if you're gonna buy this palette or get this palette, you definitely wanna do your eyes first because there is a lot of fallout, which is fine. If I'm doing super dramatic eyes, I do them first before I even mess with any of the rest of my face. You wanna see how well they wipe off? They got a little stay in power. But, um, they're not the best eyeshadows I've ever tried. No, uh, they're fine. I really like the color combo. They aren't bad. I mean, you can see they went on. I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I've got my grunge fantasy updated. I think, I think, am I close enough? I think it looks good. Also, these are just my skills, which are maybe not the greatest skills. Okay, I'm turning you back up. So I'm flawless again. Um, yeah, this palette was $58. It was good. Is it a $58 palette? I don't know. Um, I feel like it's it's a good amount of product. Like the pan size is much larger than I expected them to be, truthfully. Um, but I think as far as eyeshadow palettes go, I haven't got to try Huda's yet. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying Huda's because I really, really like this cream contour. It's super light. It doesn't smell like anything because I've seen Rob Beauty Christie talk about a lot of Huda's products really have a very strong like perfumey scent. This doesn't have any scent. So it is not gonna irritate my skin and it has not thus far. It's super light, like not in shade, but the way it feels on my face, it doesn't feel gross. Um, cream products, you never know if it's gonna feel like it's building up and I don't think it does. I think it just looks like my skin only snatched. Um, this is really, really nice. So if you're thinking about getting a contour or a bronzer, this is really, really good. I really like this. Uh, so I really want to try her eyeshadows and um, I can't yet. So I don't know how her eyeshadows are, but thus far of eyeshadows I've tried, my favorite eyeshadows are Jeffree Star's. Uh, Tati Westbrook's shadows are awesome. And uh, I do, for the most part, like most of Anastasia, Beverly Hills, stuff, at least what I've tried from Anastasia. Um, it is a really soft formula, Anastasia's, and there's a lot of fallout, so if you get an Anastasia palette, you definitely want to always do <laughs> your eyes first. Um, Jeffries doesn't really have much fallout. Uh, every now and then you get a shade that's super soft that you might get a little, but um, yeah, I'm probably gonna stick with Tati and Jeffrey going forward uh, as far as eyeshadows go. Um, I like my Melt palette. I'm glad I got this Gemini palette, but I don't think I'd buy another Melt palette because how many shades were there? I mean, I should, should, should have counted them. Um, apply around eyes as desired. I didn't even, I didn't even count them. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. There's ten shades. Ten shades. Um, of the ten shades, half of them were fiddly or dry-ish or patchy or powdery. So half of them weren't as like good and buttery as I had hoped they would be. It could just, it's just the formula. It's not my favorite formula. I like a, a creamier kind of formula, which is fine. Maybe you like more of a powdery kind of formula. It's cool. Uh, the pigment's there though. I mean, you can see the pigment is definitely there. And they didn't blend away to mud, which some do. Um, they did blend, it just took a little more blending than I've had to do recently, that's all. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you love that color story, I haven't seen another palette that looks like that, so maybe you do want to get it. That's why I got it. I wanted that grunge palette. <laughs> and I have it, and I loved all of those army greens. I've seen some green palettes, but they've either been mint or Kelly green, and I really wanted, like, an army swamp green palette. Uh, maybe ColourPop will make, like, swamp palette for me, you know, with some like dark browns and some greens. And I like green on my eyes. Um, my eyes almost look blue today instead of gray because of all the green. So I'm just saying, I like it. So whatever. Anyways, so that was my Christmas um, from my mom and Graham. Three quarters of it. I still want a Huda palette, but we'll see what happens. Um, although since the money is coming back to me, maybe I won't even try Huda. Maybe I'll get a couple of ColourPop palettes for a lot cheaper and I can, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, uh, I do really, really, really recommend the Huda palette. And as far as the Rihanna lip glosses go, they're not bad. They're not super sticky. They're a little thick, but they're not collecting. I don't know if you guys that wear lip gloss, sometimes it collects at the corners of your mouth. This doesn't. Um, there are glitters, but I can't, can't really feel the glitters. They're really shiny, which is nice. Um, yeah, I like, thus far, everything Fenty I've tried, I've really, really liked. Um, yeah, so I guess that's my mini review. Yes to the Huda Tan Tour. Yes to the Rihanna Mini Gloss Bomb Set to the Melt Gemini palette. It's fine. The colors are beautiful. Um, the palette itself is super heavy. It's in a metal container. Like, it's gorgeous. It looks really high quality. Um, the shadow performance, you can make it work. They aren't like trash or anything. You can make it work. You're just gonna have to work a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe the brown side, I won't have to work. Who knows? The green side had to work a little bit. Um, anything else oh so um you probably noticed like the last two videos I had really pretty nails because my nails had finally grown back from where they separated from my nail beds and we all thought that it was because I was doing gel uh manicures uh just gel polish at home so I haven't done one but look what's happening again they're separating from my beds you see they're really really short so I was just keeping them painted with regular nail polish. Um, I've also, I was adding a lot of oils and stuff to them and leaving them naked for a little while. And then I would do a really, take my time and do a really good mani. And it was lasting about a week because I had my nails so oiled up. I think what was happening was my nails were so dry that nothing would stick. I don't know. Any hoodles. Um, so, I had them painted and as soon as they got to the length I like, they started to pull away from my nail beds again. And this time I recognized something because it's the second time it happened. My fingertips started to tingle. It's kind of like when your leg starts to fall asleep, you know, you get the pins and needles, but it was just in my fingertips and they went numb. It was just weird, tingly fingertips and then my fingertips went numb and then the next day they started to pull up from my nail beds again so I don't know what that is 
but it definitely has nothing to do with gel and I don't have eczema anywhere in my body so I don't think it's that either or psoriasis so I don't know what's happening but I pulled I cut my nails down to stubs again because I have to let it grow up because it pulls up and then anyways I'm sorry I have gross nails and I can't help it it makes me sad too because I really like pretty nails <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them. I have no idea. So uh, I guess that's it for me today. Uh, this is not the hairstyle you're getting on Thursday. I haven't filmed it yet. I filmed it in this order. Like the real order for a change is because I wanted to wear my hair down for this section. Uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, but I'm getting ready and we, Thursday, we are trying uh, JJJ's new bun. Uh, with her permission, yay, she was here at the live chat. It was so nice to see her, my very first YouTube friend. She has floor length hair. She put up a tutorial for a fan bun and I wanted to try it. So we're gonna try it. I have not tried it yet because I wanted to do it on camera with you guys so you guys can see what it's like for me when I'm trying to work something out, I guess, maybe. Um, but yeah, so we are going to do uh, the fan bun, which I think will be fun. Um, it's nice. I like to try other people's hairstyles uh, as well as my own and this way I don't have to try and think up one. We can just figure out if we can do it and it's really pretty and I like it and she uses a lot of big clippies and stuff so her, since she has so much hair, it really ends up making the hairstyles a lot more comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, she knows what she's talking about. She has experience. So, uh, and you know, I guess know her pretzel bun I use so much. It's not even funny. It's the basis for so many of my own hairstyles. I start with hers and then I just elaborate. So any hoodles, that's it for me today. I will see you guys on Thursday where we try uh, JJJ's new fan bun. And then, uh, yeah, sound like a plan, Stan? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. If you are so inclined, see if there's anything out there for around $30 eye palettes wise that looks interesting to you and send me a link and maybe I'll buy it and we'll try that out. If there's anything out there that you really want to see. Maybe you do want to see the Huda. Maybe you want to see something else. Around 30 bucks because that's what I have left to spend. <laughs> hmm. Any hoodles. I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday. Uh, as always, stay tuned for pictures of y'all. Oh, and happy St. Patrick's Day, since it, yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day! I should be wearing, I am wearing green! Ha! Green! All right, I <laughs> love you guys. Bye! Have a great day, did I say that? Yeah, have a great day.